Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. This is David Locke, and this is my blog, Boots and Bowties, a blog about everything kitchen and cooking and gardening. And today I'm going to teach you to make one of my favorite desserts. This is called clafoutis. It's a traditional French dessert that's usually made with cherries, but I make mine with apples. It really sounds sophisticated, but it's a very easy dessert to make. It's basically a custard with brandied and sugared fruit in it. So it's very easy to make, has very few ingredients. I tend to take this to people in my church that are not feeling well uh, or when I want to take a gift to somebody because it's so easy and quick to make. So here are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need four and eight tablespoons of butter divided, so a stick and a half. Uh, the four tablespoons we're going to use for the fruit, the eight tablespoons we're going to use for the batter. You're going to need a lemon. We're going to juice that into the fruit. Four really nice apples. The tartar, the better. These are honey crisp. You could also use Granny Smith three eggs, a cup of cream. You can use milk if you like. I prefer cream. It's a lot richer. I think it's a lot more French. Three and a quarter cups of flour and a cup of sugar that's been divided in half. So half a cup for the fruit and half a cup for the batter. We're also going to need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, teaspoon of vanilla, and here's the secret ingredient. You're going to need three tablespoons of brandy. You could also use whiskey if you have that on hand. So let's make the batter. I'll show you how I make the batter, and then I'll show you how I brandy everything on the stovetop. Then we'll put it together and put it in the oven. Okay, so let's assemble the batter. I use my KitchenAid that has been fitted with the a wire whip, but you could even use a blender to do this, and I assume you could even do it by hand if you wanted to, but I've always used the KitchenAid. I feel like it incorporates a lot of air into the batter and makes it a little lighter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the eggs, and what I've done is I've um, mixed them up really good, whipped them up very nicely with a fork. So we're gonna pour that in first. Then we're gonna pour in our cup of heavy cream. Then we're gonna put in our half a cup of sugar. We're gonna put in our salt. We're gonna put in our melted butter, just like that, very easy. And then we're going to turn it on and start with our flour, just a little bit at each at a time, slowly letting it incorporate. put in our vanilla and I'll turn it on, turn it off, give it a nice scrape down just like that. We'll turn it back on. And you just really want to make sure it doesn't have any lumps and that everything is nice and incorporated. And that should do it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a simple uh, Pyrex uh, pie dish. It can be any pie dish you have. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees and we're going to put this into the oven and let the pie dish begin to come to temperature with the oven to come up to 400 degrees. So now let's work on the fruit and then we'll put it all together. So now I've got my skillet. Uh, it's coming to temperature. I've got it on medium heat. I'm going to put in my four tablespoons of butter and I'm going to let that melt. And when that's really nice and melted, I'm going to pour in my sugar and my brandy and my fruit. Okay, so we've got our butter, it's nicely melted. And into that, we're gonna put our sugar. And we're gonna start that. Put the spoon here. I'm gonna basically start dissolving that. I'm gonna put in my three tablespoons of brandy. And start dissolving all of that. Yeah, oh, that's looking really good. When it gets kind of incorporated, you can see it's starting to boil a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put in my juice of half of a lemon. I'm going to start putting in my apples. And I've sort of diced these. I find that if you dice them, um, they, they just taste a little better. They really get nicely covered and coated. I'm just going to start coating them. And this should only take about two or three minutes. Um, you basically want to heat them through and you want them to all have a very nice glossy coating on them. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a few seconds. 
Okay, it's been about three minutes. You can see I've got a really nice simmer going on here. Um, the fruit's really starting to break down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my cinnamon in. And I'm gonna incorporate that. I'm gonna let this cook about another minute, maybe 90 seconds, just till it thickens a little bit more. And all of that good cinnamon is incorporated onto my apples. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're gonna start assembling. I've got my very hot pie plate that's been in a 400 degree oven. I've got my batter and I've got my fruit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take this batter that we've mixed up and we're going to pour it into our pie plate. Not all of it, about two thirds of it. One thing I forgot to do was spray the pie plate with a little bit of Pam or a little bit of vegetable spray. You don't have to do it, but it does help you get it out a little bit easier. And that was one step I forgot to show you. But this is live TV, eh? Then we're gonna take a slotted spoon and we're gonna start putting our fruit all over top of our batter. I'm gonna try to get as much of that liquid out as possible from our skillet. Because what we're gonna do, that beautiful syrup that's been created, is what we're going to top the coffee tea with when it comes out of the oven. You can store it in the refrigerator for a day or two. Um, it is butter, it will start to sort of coagulate, but you can reheat it either in the microwave uh, or on the stove top, and it makes a wonderful syrup. You can serve clafu tea hot. Um, I generally like to serve it at room temperature. That's when it tastes the best. So we've got most of our fruit in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda make sure it's all evenly distributed around. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my first spoonful here. Oh, that looks about right. And we're gonna take the rest of our batter. I'm gonna get a wooden scraper, or a plastic scraper rather. And I'm just gonna cover my pie with the rest of the custard. Then we're gonna put this in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes and voila, we have clafu tea. So I told you we're gonna use the syrup that we created in this pan, this beautiful syrup. Um, so what I would suggest doing is taking um, a heat safe dish and a little strainer and just beginning to strain that out so that you get all of the solids out. Um, I didn't get as much of my apple as I would have liked to have gotten out of my skillet, but that way you just don't have any fruit solids in there. So that's just a handy dandy little helpful hint I'll share with you. So here's our finished clafu tea out of the oven. You can see how it has a really nice brown consistency throughout it. If we try to jiggle it, uh, it's very firm in the center, has a nice golden brown hue. One of the things you can also do before you put it in the oven, if you want to give it a little bit more of a crispy look, is sprinkle it with just a little bit of sugar. You can even sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon if you want to. And then here is the syrup that we had in our pan. And after this cools, I'll cut it into pieces, put it on plate, serve it at room temperature, and also serve a little bit of the syrup with it. You can also serve it with vanilla ice cream uh, I've even served it with cinnamon ice cream, and it's a really wonderful thing. You can make it spring, you can make it fall, you can create any type of fruit you want to. So, clafouti au pomme, make it, it's easy, and people will think you're a French chef. Mm -hmm.